Hey there, what's up? This is TechWatch. So in this video tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to make your Windows 7 PC voice controlled. Now, in this tutorial, we'll be using a software named Jarvis. Now, please note that I do not have any single right on this software and I'm not the programmer of this software. Anyway, let's get started. So first off, you got to download the software named Jarvis. I'll put the link in the description, the link to official website. So you can download it uh, from the official website without any suspect of malware. So here is a link. You can check it. Check the description for the link. So here is the um, website. So just scroll down, and then you'll see uh, two options: one to download Links Mark Two, and the other to download Links Mark Three. Um, Links Mark Three is probably not your release, so just click on. I mean download the mark 2 version and then you you'll get redirected to a page which asks you uh, to select your operating system so choose windows here now scroll down and now don't click on this download beta version 2 this is a uh, uh, the paid version you have to you have to pay f to download this version so scroll down and until you see an orange button which says free download so click on this free download And then it asks you to submit your name and email. So anyway, do it. So here we go. Um, here is the download link. So click on that link. And then here you go so you'll also see the requirements for uh, for installing this software that is SQL server Microsoft.NET framework 4.5.1 Windows installer 4.5 now finally click on this install button over here so once you click on the install button a file gets downloaded like this um, setup.exe it's of 766 KB so I don't think it takes much time to download so once the file is downloaded click on the downloaded file and then click on run now this setup file is something like a package I mean it installs all the prerequisites that it that is all the requirements to install the software that is which you mentioned here like you can see SQL Server 2014 uh, um, Microsoft.NET Framework and Windows Installer. It installs all these three requirements first and then it goes for the installation of Jarvis. So this is like a like a package setup file or something which installs all the requirements first and then install Jarvis so that it will be a clean install and it works for you. Anyway, let, now let's install this. Uh, click on install and now it downloads the required files that is uh, SQL Server, .NET Framework, and Windows Installer from the internet and then it installs Lynx Mark 2. So this is uh, a pretty big, pretty much long process like it takes about 5 to 7 minutes so just be patient. So after the download is done wait for some time
so once the download is done you can make sure I mean you can be sure that all the requirements of for this software are installed and also Jarvis is also installed now you can run this software by searching it from your start menu so here is the program links mark 2 great name right so click on that software and it says like this something like uh, launching application and all now you have to be you have to be waiting for some time for this program to open up on your screen so it, then it asks you to set up a microphone so select your microphone um, I'll be selecting this headset microphone and then click on next now it asks you and then it asks you to uh, read this piece of sentence over here like uh, Peter uh, dictates to his computer and all the blah so that it can calibrate your um, what you say your microphone and it can adjust to your voice after you speak this sentence over here you will be directed to the configuration form of the tool where you'll be asked to select your language so once you select the language you will be able to use the tool so here is a nice piece of software links mark 2 now let me give it a command Jarvis yes open Google opening Google so then it opens up Google right away like this opening date and time settings um, I'm sorry that's just uh... okay in such a way you can do you can give it a command and you can expect it to be done now if you want to uh, customize your commands or view the existing commands or edit it, edit the existing commands or even add a new command you can just uh, then just click on the mid region of the tool over here and then take your cursor uh, to here and then click and then take your cursor to here and then when you take your cursor to, cursor to here you will you will listen it to listen it speaking customized so just click on here And then here goes the window, the customized window. Here all the here are all the default commands which come with the uh, Jarvis. Uh, there are different kinds of commands like shell commands, web commands, social commands, and all the other commands. And add a new command or edit the existing commands, delete the existing commands, and all. So this is what I wanted to teach you in this video tutorial. So if you um, want to know more about the commands different commands in Jarvis then stay tuned to TechRodge I hope that I'll be making a new tutorials new tutorial on uh, custom commands in Jarvis so subscribe for more videos at youtube.com slash TechRodge 156 and then also please do like my Facebook page at facebook.com slash TechRodge 156 so thanks for watching cheers